So in this short tutorial, I'm going to teach you step by step how to publish your own npm package to npm.js and make it available publicly for users to download and use for free. And this is a step by step I've also created in my website. You can see the steps right here. There are just four steps to take to create your own npm package. I'm sure you've done something like npm install, npm install. We all do it as developers, but these packages you are installing is actually created by someone and you might actually want to create your own package and make it available there. So that is very easy to do. The first thing you need, you need a GitHub repository. So this is my GitHub repository. There are a whole lot of things there. Please uh, follow me and also if you want, you can uh, uh, clone any of my repositories. So prerequisite for this course, you have it right here. You need to have I think I have this prerequisite. You, you need to have an npm account. So if you go to npm.js, npm, npm, uh, you will have to create an account there and it's for free. So I've created an account and I have this free account. I also have, if I go to packages, you see I have one package I called Kyntone the Genius Greet Me. So we're gonna be talking about scoped packages a little later. So let's go ahead to start and if this is informative for you, please subscribe to my channel. This kind of motivates me to keep making this lesson for you. So first, let me increase the font a little bit. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to create a Node application. So what I'm going to do, I've created an empty folder. So I've created an empty folder. So I'm going to simply open this empty folder by saying open folder and I call this folder um, I have it on my, okay, I can just create a new folder. So I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it node demo, node demo, node demo, or npm demo, npm demo. Okay, so I'm going to simply click on create and I'm going to say open. So I've created an empty folder and I've also opened this folder. I'm going to create Inside this folder, I'm going to create another folder called package. Okay, so this is where we are going to place the file, the uh, the package, the content of the package is going to be here. Actually, a package is simply a collection of files called modules. These are JavaScript files that contain functions you want to expose for users to use for free. So a package is simply a collection of files, right, that contain functions. All right, so we, are, we need to create a GitHub repository that's going to be hold that we are going to, because if you want to publish a package, you need to also host it on GitHub and so that you can publish it to NPM. So I'm going to, let's take this step by step, create an empty GitHub repository. So let's go to GitHub and create a repository. I'm going to call this repository the same name. I'm going to call it NPM demo, NPM demo. I'm going to simply say, um, how to publish a package to npm and it's going to be public and everything's going to be the same i'm going to say create and yeah so we've created a uh, a, no, a github repository and that's what we have step three we just completed okay so we are going back to intel uh, to vs code and we are going to open a new terminal new terminal right here and I'm going to navigate into the package because this is where this package directory I created in, in my um, application is where we are going to place all the package, um, the modules. Actually, this is a package that represents the application we want to host. So I'm going to say CD package, okay? And we are now going to run the GitHub commands to actually initialize our repository and push this empty package, this repository, uh, to our application to GitHub. So I'm going to just paste it right here. Yes, paste. And yeah. Okay, so we have an empty GitHub repository now, but we've initialized uh, a local GitHub repository. So if I come back here to this place and just refresh the page, you see that we have an empty uh, repository initialized with a readme. Let's follow the steps. And this is what, okay, so we go to step six. Uh, we need to initialize the node application using npm init. So let's go to use npm init. First, I want to clear my console. I'm going to say npm init, and I'm going to now 
Now the package name is very, very, very important. And that's why I've created this, um, this right here, this note here. So let's call it KTG Grid because it seems I've used Genius Grid before. So the package name is very important. And if you use a name that is very common, the possibilities is that it may not be available because the names of packages in NPM has to be unique. So let me call it KTG times on the Genius. KTG, of course, you already know that KTG Grid. Convention is to use a uh, dash or which is uh, a hyphen if you want to have two words uh, of snake case name. Okay, KTG Grid is the name of my package. Version is going to be everything is just leave it. Actually, I, I would have loved to use a description, but no problem. So, um, author is Kainson and license size everything should be okay so if initialize uh so if i go now we have a package.json actually you can actually come here and actually make up so uh package or let's say tutorial package for publishing to npm okay so this is a tutorial package and I think this should be fine, okay. Okay, so I'm going to save. Let's go follow the next step, says create file inside the package folder. So we are going to now create a module, right? A module is simply one JavaScript file uh, right inside here. I'm gonna call it index.js, index.js. So this module is gonna contain three functions that uh, users can use. So this function is say hello, say hi, and say welcome. This function will take a name and return a greeting. So if you put in the name Kyneton, it's gonna return hello Kyneton. If you call the say hello function, and let me just copy this and put it there. So for brevity, so that we don't waste time typing. Okay, so these are the functions um, that are going to be available in this package. Now we need to test our package to make sure it works. Uh, normally you want to simulate a package before you publish. So you don't want to publish a package and figure out it's already a broken package. So to do that, we are going to use a command called npm link. So it's going to kind of uh, publish this package uh, somewhere virtually, but not in npm. So it's creating a sim link so that when you try to download this package, try to install it, it's going to install, but it's not going to be coming from npm. It's going to be coming from this package folder uh, where we are creating the link. So I'm going to, inside this package, I'm going to say npm link. Now it gives us an error, and the reason it gives us this error is because we need to log in to npm. So I'm going to... Uh, okay, so I just checked. I think I need to use sudo, uh, sudo npm link. Uh, that should fix it. Um, okay. So actually you need to use an admin um, as size. Okay. Okay, so we've created a sim link. So we now more or less have made this pa package available in NPM. Okay, so we now want to use this package. We want to test it, more like install it and use it. So we want to create a test application. So let's create a new, I'm going to create a new folder. Um, so I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this folder test. So this folder is simply an application to test this package, okay? So inside this test, again, the step-by-step -step is right here. Um, so this, where we are is um, npm link, that's fine. Test directory now. We are now going to run the command npm uh, link genius grid, okay? So when we say npm link genius grid, it's more like npm install. So in this test directory, I'm gonna to go to test directory. So I'm gonna play my console post, um, cd dash slash test, I think that should be. Okay, so I'm going to now say npm link ktg create. That's the name of the package. And now it installed the package. This equivalent to npm install. So if I go to test at this time, you can see Inside the node modules, we have KTG create, okay? So we have the node modules created, exactly what happens when you do npm install. 
and I'm going to ins create inside this text. I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it. Um, I'm going to call this file. Actually, I don't want this creating inside the node module, so I want to create it inside tests, right? I'm going to create a new file inside tests. I'm going to call this file. Um, I'm going to call this file uh, clients. So just a test uh, file to use to call these functions and see if it works with JS. Okay. So node modules, uh, yeah. So node modules is right here, and we have the client of JS as well. So now I'm going to uh, require the genius, the, the the package, right? So I'm going to say cons greet is equal to require. Um, so it's going to require KTG greet because that's the name of the package we published. We've not published it. We simply simulated the publish, and we are going to now console log, console dot log, and greet dot say hello, and I'm going to give it a name Kainson, and I'm going to do a second one console.log uh, it's going to be create.say welcome and I'm going to give it uh, the tech pro okay so this file this client file is now going to be using the package that we created now we've not published it okay we'll publish it very soon so let's run this client uh, using um, node. So I'm going to say node uh, node client.js. Now you see that it works. So it actually say hello Kyneton, welcome the tech pro. It's using exactly the file uh, the module available in this package. Okay, so now we've seen the application is working. Let's now publish this package. So in this case we are going to go back to the package directory. Uh, we are going to publish this using uh, npm publish. So I'm going to go back, uh, this we've done. So I'm going to go back to the packet directory. So I'm going to say cd uh, that, that uh, package. And in the packet directory, I'm going to simply execute npm publish. And now this package should be published into our repository ktg grid into our npm uh, packages directory. So if I refresh this page now, we can see the package ktg grid. Now, anybody now can actually use this package. So if you go to try to install this package, you will find it. So if you go to search for, uh, if you actually now, if you're watching this video, you can actually search for this package and you'll find it, okay? Now, if you want to pack, uh, publish a package that is already used, for instance, core, because if you are building an application, you may have a package called core, you may have other packages called um, um, maybe um, um, maybe core, we can have another one called features, or can have another one called front end. So these are names that are already used, but you can also use it. And to do that, you need to make this package to be scoped. To make it scoped means you need to publish it under your username. So you have slash use your username slash, and that is what many developers actually do. So we have uh, at Angular slash at Angular slash. These are scoped packages. So in that case, you can also publish scoped, scoped packages. So if you want to publish this package again, it will not work. You have to make it scoped. So in that case, let's publish scoped package. And again, the uh, procedure is right here. And to do that, we are simply, I'm going to my package.json, I'm going to now append uh, Kyneton the genius, simply append your username and you'll be able to publish this package again, but this time it's called. And yeah, so we prefix it and I'm going to just save. Very important because many packages with an already existing name will already have an existing name. Change the package in package.json and publish the package this time using as size equal to publish. So I'm going to publish it now. npm publish and dash dash as size equals public. 
And let's see, so it publishes now, but this time it publishes as a scoped package. So if I go back here to um, npm and refresh, we can see that we should have a third package with the same name, but now it's in the kinds and the genius scope, as you can see here. And if I check my email, they are telling me, congrats, you've published a package, you see, right here. And this is the first one we published. So this is actually how to publish NPM packages. It's very easy. So now you can easily uh, install it. So if I run NPM, sorry, let me just play my console, NPM install, and I say KTG Grease, it should be able to install this package, as you can see right here and you can easily try it yourself. So I'm going to be stopping here. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. The step-by-step -step is right here in my website. All the code snippets you, you, you want is right here in my website. So please uh, visit the website. If you have challenges, simply in the, in the scroll down and simply leave me a comment in the comment box below right here and I'm going to reach out to you. Follow me on my social network profile, be it Facebook or Twitter or GitHub or LinkedIn. I'm always there for you and please uh, feel free to like and share this video if it has been informative for you. So we we'll see you in the next part.